η πρώτη δε Ανατολής Τι της dialects uh, actually in Greek Cypriot dialect and Turkish Cypriot dialect in the specific project of Kiprogenia. It's our band consists from of uh, the Greek Cypriot musicians and Turkish Cypriot musicians. We are singing, Atije is the main singer, I also sing. Atije is singing also Turkish Cypriot and Greek Cypriot. Yes, I think yeah, they are doing this because um, to show people like um, the the way we dance with the music, the way we feel with the music, because it's the music. Words are, are, are just there, you see, but just it's the same. We dance with the same melodies. We say maybe some different words, but the music is there. It's exactly the same music, you know, and both sides put their words. Okay, I don't know origins. Is a, it can be Greek Cypriot or it can be Turkish Cypriot, but we are dancing and enjoying and, and, and uh, when we are on the table singing these songs together. So we said that, okay, let's make it not sing only in Turkish Cypriot and, or Greek Cypriot. Let's mix them up and let's see what we did. And that's what we did to show people that this is, I sing together with him and I, I enjoy together this music of ours uh, of Cyprus. This is the, this is this what we wanted to do actually give Regenia is this and uh, this was the purpose and I think and also me I don't mind singing in Greek I don't mind singing um, Greek Cypriot or I don't mind singing in Spanish I don't mind singing in en français I don't mind singing it is we are humans living in a world and uh, and uh, it's good to learn many languages many things many cultures and but we are the same this is another thing eh? We are exactly the same people, so that was so easy for me to, to, to make it, actually. Yes, I remember. It was my idea, uh, actually. I did, after it came to my life, um, it was around 1998. I was a student in Athens, a um, music student, and I was involved into a PhD about Cyprus traditional music. I never finished it, but I had this idea. I began with one student's group, First, because this uh, um, to ex explore same to music to make uh, other things, uh, other variations of Cyprus traditional music and new compositions of mine. So, when I came to Cyprus after my studies in 2000, I I had this idea, but this took shape when uh, the borders opened. 2003, 4, 2004, and so we were able to go to on, to the other side in north. We, we, so I met some musicians there, and I realized the day we met first time, they were playing somewhere outdoors, something traditional their way with saxophones and congas, other instruments. So I say that's it. They have it before me. <laughs> So it was really interesting and to include their exotic um, uh, appreciation of the Cyprus traditional music. That's what I was trying to do actually, to, to include all the genres, ex the music genres that exist in Cyprus. Uh, classical Western music, uh, jazz music, rock music, and traditional music, including the ethnic music, let's like say the world music touch. So, this is what I included. I make the band, we will perform in North, in Fama Augusta first, um, in, and after in the University of Cyprus, after in, in the biggest festival in Cyprus, Kypria, 2006, and abroad, Luxembourg, Belgium, Spain, I had a tour in, in good presidential palace, in good situation, and after 
it was uh, active this band, but not performing a lot. But be, uh, because of these negotiations began, Anastasia is the Hanky G. It was a good uh, opportunity to start again. And same time, I married with a DJ. So we gave another dimension. Um, we rearranged things. Hadija, she's a musician, so she had some new ideas. We put in new elements, uh, new arrangements, new songs, uh, new instrumentals. So, and working in the studio now, we have a new shape of this band. Culture brings people together. This is, and um, even if you are in uh, the same culture, you come together. Even if you are different, you still, it brings people together. Culture, that's what, what is art is, you know, what is a uh, culture is. We have to work uh, the two communities to together. They are the biggest communities in Cyprus, Greek Cyprus, Turkey Cyprus, as human beings to come together to understand that there is no problem in uh, human relations. This is what I always do. I was always doing since 2003, four. I I built Kiprogenia. And I was also in other projects in theater and in dancing. I was doing many things with Turkish Cypriots, always believing in this because this is the main message in uh, about uh, to give that we have nothing to we ha we should forget actually forgive or oh, no we should forgive not to forget <laughs> maybe what happened but. Um, it's a new time now. Let's uh, use this time to be uh, together. The other aspect is the political aspect, the economical aspect. This is other things. Uh, you know, there's one Turkey behind. Um, but at least as a human beings, let's understand that we shouldn't be. We have to live here. We cannot take the Turkey Cypriots, we Greek Cypriots, and put them in the sea to disappear, for example. This is impossible. This is the thing we do exist, and 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 All of we us are ex Cypriots, we exist. you know, and we are Cypriots, Cypriots like my family. We are Cypriot, and it's nothing to do with uh, the just uh, uh, doesn't matter what you are, how many, what is your population or whatever. We are Cypriots. My family from old city, and uh, I know it's exactly the same culture. They do the in the the Furuno outside the breads and everything. They live exactly the way they did. They talk exactly the, the way they talk, and we are like pure Cypriot as much as they are. We are this. We are coming from the same origin. And this is what people, they don't want to understand. Now they try to change. They try to say that that's what I disagree, that I am Turk, I am Greek. That's what I totally disagree with this. Why you have to be that or this and whatever. You be Cypriot and that's enough. That's enough for if you want to be something, be Cypriot and live your culture and be proud with it and try to build up new things bring new things you know to our culture and um and this is this is what i get really really upset with it when people they want to be the uh, turk or greek that's very sad for me i i can't i can i'm cypriot my family was cypriot my father died by saying that he was cypriot and uh, that's what we are and uh, and uh, it's not someone kicking someone out or whatever. We just have to, we need a new minded people with uh, more um, clever, I'm not afraid to say that, clever people to see things in another perspective and to bring, bring us, bring people together and accept each other. It's clear that this one culture and variations. Turkey Cypriot variation, Greek Cypriot variations, the food we eat, the clothes we we sew, um, the music we sing, we play, uh, as cultures. They are very, very common. Of course, uh, Greek Cypriots, they have influence from Greece. Turkey Cypriots, they have influences from Turkey. But it's not so strong. In my opinion is they are not so strong, these, these influences. Um, it's people, the people we speak with Hadija all the time, we found the same things. Her grandmother, she was doing the same things. 
we make we cut the olives uh, how we try to understand how we make the olives it was telling me my grandmother would make as my grandmother was doing uh, yeah. our bread how we cook our food it's just variations this is culture not variations it's exactly the same things that's what i said only thing that people with uh, with the religion they couldn't understand that religion it's completely personal you can be whatever you want to be religion shouldn't be a part of um the, the part of the the relationship in between people you believe whatever you want to believe you can be buddhist you can be uh, whatever a taste be what you want to be but this doesn't shouldn't separate you that's why we have we need more wise people in in this cyprus because we have to pass over this you know you cannot judge people you cannot judge people with the, what they believe you know this is the problem in cyprus because whatever happened actually not really because they are huge believers because they want to show it like that they want to put this because they have this you know uh, nationalist ideas about nationalists but in a very stupid way you know i mean so sad uh, they talk about uh, what happened uh, before what happened 50 years ago and uh, this if you listen one nationalist person if you ask me when they are talking i will just uh, die laughter because i can't believe the way they think these people and they use the religion and they use everything to be part of Greece and in the north to be part of uh, Turks and to separate it. But actually these people, they are not really the believers. I don't believe them. I don't believe them that they are really believers of the God, believers of the Jesus or believers of the, they are really the Muslims or whatever, nothing to do with that. It's all about, uh, all about, uh, they want to be Greek and they want to be uh, Turk. This is all always all and because and the generation problems we talk about it. This was this is exactly new generation people. Some brainwash people we have, okay. Some of them, but they are they are few. But new generation people, when people because you know people in Cyprus they don't travel, they don't go to Syria. They are just going to the, the Cypriots. They go to Greece or London to come back, and then from north they go to Turkey or to London. This is where their departments. <laughs> they never go anywhere. They don't see the world. And world is big, huge. That's why these people are close-minded. And uh, they cannot see what's happening in the world. Their world is too small. This is our problem here. We need to see more. And young people, they're traveling now. So they're, they're seeing, oh my God, what a what stupid thing to be nationalist or something like that. Look at what's happened to German, all the nationalist leaders what they did what they brought to their country only tears and blood and and sadness and and unhappiness and and these people themselves they are not happy so of course we have to be careful not to lose our identities not to lose them um, not for cyprus i'm talking for other countries of course we have to keep keep what we are yes but the point is we are here both the same cypriots i i found some tunes five, ten songs maximum, they are common tunes, the melodies, with different um, lang uh, different words. Uh, many of these, some, and some uh, instrumentals, okay? So you cannot say, there is some common tradition, but I think the Greek Cypriots have much more, much more, because they are influenced from the Greek islands, from uh, Middle East, you can find the same, exactly, minor Asia, you can find exactly the same tunes and variations. This is from my experience. Uh, so, me, I, I believe that Turkish Cypriots, they took from Greek Cypriots the main melodies, and they make their things. But um, what I learned in my PhD, when one culture borrows one something, one element, and uh, affects it, and it's, it's, it belongs, belongs to it, Belongs to this culture, finished, that's it. Uh, um, so, uh, music is traveling, um, but I think Turkish Cypriots, they were little following the Greek Cypriots. This is not bad or good, it's, it's okay. 